This thing is pretty much useless unless you have a key to it. Everything is disabled. There's no power going to the throttle or anything. So put the key in, turn it on. Voila. what's going on youtube so thank you for tuning in by the way what we're doing in today's video is we're going to be adding a locking mechanism onto this bird 3 scooter with the s866 display so right now you can currently power it on and off through this power button but the customer brought the scooter back and said they wanted to add a locking mechanism to this so we're going to wire this into the ground connection of this s866 display and unless the key is in the on position this will have power if the key is taken out then this has no power and this throttle becomes useless so let's go ahead and get this in place let's go ahead and drill our hole that we we can install our switch using this step down drill bit as you can see inside the grooves it does have the size measurements we need to get to 26 millimeter because that is the diameter of the switch you can use a marker to mark your stopping point just like so makes it a lot easier let's go ahead and draw out So there it is, with just a little bit of effort, I was able to push that in. Now at this point, you can see you have your tabs. All you have to do is squeeze that in and it should lock into place. Well, it looks like I may have to drill another hole because I see a part that doesn't fold in which is right here. We're gonna have to just kind of knock out that little nudge and that way that can fall into place. Now what I need to do is just make a small hole, a small little slit right along this area so I can get my locking mechanism to fall into place. That should be good, that should do it. So we wanna make sure this little slit goes right into that hole and that's what's gonna keep it from moving all over the place. All right, took a little while, but I got it in there. Now we need this to fall in there just like so. Perfect. Now what you wanna do is locate the wire harness going to the S866 display, which is this wire harness here. We're gonna cut into it, being very careful not to cut any wires. So instead, since this red wire is the first wire I got to, they, pull, they both activate the power supply. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut into the red wire and use that instead. Now that connection is broken, 
there will be no power to the display. And that's good, that's what we want. So now what you want to do is clip both both of these positive and negative as you a little bit of solder on your tips Now, if you have some heat shrink, be sure to add it onto these wires. Now, what we left off at, we sliced into the power supply to this S866 display. Now, what we're gonna do is, now that the wire's cut into two pieces, we're gonna wire one end to one end and the black end to the opposite end, and that's it. So there that goes, I have all that connected. Let's go ahead and try to power this on. As you can see, nothing's happening. Nothing's going on. Now let's put the key in there and see if it turns on. Now we can put our wires down into this little opening. Looks like I'm gonna have to relocate this light button. Now I didn't know this was the plan. I didn't know this was gonna be um, mounted right here in this area. If I did, I would have moved this button somewhere closer back here. That way this wouldn't be intervening with this little mechanism that hangs there this thing is so big it just takes up so much space it's not a big issue we're just going to take the button and we're going to reroute it right up here so we're going to control our light from up top just like so let's go ahead and drill our 12 millimeter hole before you just decide to drill down be sure you lift up and make sure there's no wires underneath now we're just going to drill all the way across because it's 12 millimeters anyways and that's where we need to stop at As you can see, I did try installing the button, but I did have to round it out with the drill bit. And after I did this a couple of times, the button ended up sliding in like nothing. Right here, what I'm doing is connecting my headlight wires back together. As you can see, my wires were limited, so the space I had to work in was pretty tight.
right here you can see i'm adding gorilla glue to my contact points if you don't have gorilla glue or hot glue you can just use tape instead So we are left with a hole right here where our previous button was at. I ended up patching this with Gorilla Tape and now I'm gonna fill it in with hot glue. And this is it. This is what the scooter looks like. Now this is how you add a kill switch to your S866 display. Now this thing is pretty much useless unless you have a key to it. Everything is disabled. There's no power going to the throttle or anything. So put the key in, turn it on. Voila. That's it.